Today, we're learning how to identify fractions that are larger than 1 on a number line. Let's start by identifying what fraction this number line shows. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is identify what fraction each piece of the number line represents. I can see the space between 0 and 1 has been split up into 4 pieces. That means each piece of this number line is 1 fourth. I can then count that we're at 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths, and 7 fourths. So this blue dot is at 7 fourths, and we'll call the fraction 7 fourths an improper fraction. Now this isn't the only way I could write this fraction. I could instead start counting at one whole and go on from there. This is 1 and 1 fourth, this is 1 and 2 fourths, and this is 1 and 3 fourths. So we could also say that we're at 1 and 3 fourths on the number line, which is a mixed number. So 7 fourths and 1 and 3 fourths are the two ways I could describe what fraction this number line shows. Let's practice one of these together now. Let's identify what fraction this number line shows. Well, the first thing we want to do is identify what fraction each piece of the number line represents. So what fraction is this dash? Well, we can see that each whole number, for example, between 0 and 1, it's been split up into three pieces. Therefore, each dash is one third. If each dash is one third, what fraction are we at on this number line? Well, we could just count that we're at one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, and seven thirds. So, one of the ways we could label this fraction is seven thirds. What's this called? Seven thirds is an improper fraction. Now, we could also label this fraction with a mixed number by starting counting at two holes. What mixed number does this number line show? Well, if you start at two holes, this next dash will be 2 and 1 third. So as a mixed number, we can say that we're at 2 and 1 third. Now let's practice with another problem. Let's identify what fraction this number line shows. First, let's identify what each dash of the number line represents. What fraction is this dash? Well, we can see each whole number has been split into two parts. So each of these dashes is 1 half. If each dash is 1 half, where is this on our number line? Well, you could count along starting at 1 half, and you'd find our blue dot is at 9 halves. 9 halves is an improper fraction to describe where we are. Now, how could we write this as a mixed number? Well, we'd start at the whole number 4, and the next dash, it would just be 4 and 1 half. So this point is 4 and 1 half. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What fraction does this number line show? On this number line, each dash represents one fifth. Therefore, you could count up that we're at seven fifths on this number line. As a mixed number, we could start counting at one whole and see that we are at one and two fifths. So seven fifths and one and two fifths are the two correct ways that we could write this fraction. Now here's your last problem for this video. What fraction does this number line show? Well, each dash on this number line represents one fourth. If you count up the dashes, you can find that we're at 10 fourths. Or, as a mixed number, we could start counting at two holes and see that we're at two and two fourths. And so either 10 fourths or two and two fourths are the two correct ways of writing this fraction. Awesome. Now you know how to write fractions that are larger than 1. Stay tuned for next time.